फ्रेंड्स लेटास ब्रु टूडे आर निव स्टाइल अब एलकोप बिभारेज कम्बुचा फ्यूशन हुईच उल कन्टेन एलकोहल प्रड्यूस डूरिंग फार्मेंटेशन एज वेल एज एसेटिक एसिड अल्सो फार्ष्ट यू हाव टू स्टेडिलज द ब्रुईंग और कूकिंग इक्ुपमेंट्स एंड योर फार्मेंटर फर द सेम हियर इट इज डेभलपड बै माइ सेल्फ एट होम उथथ बएल्ड व्टार वे दार्लि मल्ट एभेलेबल फ्रम एनी अनल स्टोर हियर थ्री हंड्रेड फिफ्टी ग्राम मल्ट यूज टार्गेट स्पेसिफिक ग्रेविटीज वन पॉइंट जिरो फोर मिल और क्रास दार्लि मल्ट उथथ योर होम ग्राइंडार मेजर वन पॉइंट फाइव लिटार्स अफ मिनारे व्टार गुड क्वालिटी एटेम्पारेट इट आप टू फर्टी नाइन डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड और सेलसियस control the temperature and check the temperature with constant stirring your start temperature will be nearly 49 degree centigrade After achieving forty nine degree centigrade, add the full quantity of crushed or milled malt with continuous agitation for proper mixing. Give rest for fifteen minutes at forty nine degree centigrade. At this temperature, the malt protein will break down. This is called protein rest in brewing science or language. Take some sample of the. liquid in a glass beaker to check the ph here i am using a portable ph meter check the ph of the slurry see the ph it is nearly uh, 5.5 you can maintain up to 5.6 then just wash the ph meter with uh, water and keep it aside add gypsum powder and calcium chloride 2 grams each these are the calcium source in brewing as well as for the yeast to be used in fermentation so here i am adding calcium chloride and gypsum stir well then increase the temperature 
up to 62 degree centigrade check uh, well with a thermometer after reaching 62 degree centigrade give a rest for 15 minutes at this temperature the malt enzymes will act the endogenous enzymes which is inside the malt that will act and this process is called in brewing science massing see the massing procedure here agitation is doing uh, by myself then rise the temperature of the mass after giving rest at 62 degree centigrade to 65 degree centigrade give rest at 65 degree centigrade for 45 minutes then rise the temperature to 72 degree centigrade for full breakdown of starch check with iodine solution for conversion of the starch to simple fermentable sugars glucose and maltose and other fermentable sugars then rise the temperature to 72 2 to 78 degree centigrade for deactivation of the malt enzymes see i am measuring the temperature by my thermometer after reaching 78 degree centigrade the mass separation stage has come see the process i am using a strainer the whole mass or slurry has been transferred and the liquid is separated this is the extract from malt in brewing science it is called sweet wort check the pH of the sweet wort as well as the specific gravity with specific gravity meter side by side you prepare boiled water and then uh, bring down the temperature to 78 degree centigrade for sparging or washing of the absorbed extract inside the malt husk or the malt solid try to extract as much as you can from the malt then the whole liquid is being transferred to the cooking vessel again here i am checking the gravity of the before boil volume afterwards i will boil the whole liquid here the sweet word volume was nearly 0.9 liter and I have used 1.4 liters of water. The total before boil volume was 2.3 liters. See here uh, I am just trying to increase the temperature to boiling point. Boiling has been done for 40 minutes after boiling completion. I am checking here the specific gravity of the boiled liquid. Now it is called wort in brewing science. Definitely you have to cool down the liquid nearly at 20 degree centigrade and check the specific gravity of the wort. Also you have to check the pH of the boiled wort. by your pH meter
now you have to add a pinch of zinc salt here it is zinc sulfate which is the micronutrient of yeast which is the fermentable microorganism aid and uh, yeast has been added after cooling down of the wort cool down has complete the temperature of the wort now is around 15 to 16 degree centigrade i am adding yeast curry here i used brewers lagerist which is bottom fermenting 75 gram of yeast has been used you please weigh the yeast curry in a glass beaker and mix the yeast curry with the wort kept inside the fermenter this is the process of addition of yeast i am here adding yeast yeast addition complete mix well close the lid of the fermenter and keep the fermenter inside the refrigerator fermentation temperature here is nearly 12 degree centigrade after 2 days of fermentation you check the gravity what is the status of the fermenting liquid check gravity on the second day of fermentation here i am checking the gravity with hydrometer and alcohol also nearly 5 days will take for complete fermentation check the ph also after 5 days i got at about 5% alcohol volume by volume now the fermentation is almost complete as per my target now you have to cool down the total fermented broth for arresting fermentation further fermentation complete now now the part has come to add the tea extract after separation of yeast from the fermenting liquid i have prepared the tea extract here i have used good quality ctc tea and uh, 50 g of sugar has been added which will be the additional source of fermentable sugar for yeast and bacteria i am dissolving the sugar in the tea extract cool down checking the gravity and alcohol also acetic acid bacteria which i have uh, prepared in my home that is collected or cultured from crushed red grapes and uh, a little bit of brewer's yeast also i am adding here mixed with the acetic acid bacteria culture 
so tea extract and sugar solution has been added and the acetic acid bacteria source has been added with a little yeast this is a symbiotic process tea extract is now adding now i am dissolving the residual sugar adding it inside the fermenter fermenter close the lid keep the fermenter inside your refrigerator and after nearly 12 to 14 days your fermentation is complete add some lemon and orange peel inside your flip flop glass bottle check the pH and see the uh, fermented beverage and addition of the alcohol beverage inside the bottle mix well the process is complete